Today I'm back looking at the second half of the top 10 Town Hall 10 attacks you have to try. Basically looking at all different Town Hall 10 attack strategies. If you missed the first five, go check them out. They're waiting for you on the channel, but let's start this out with part two. What is up my friends? My name is Echo and welcome back to the channel again today on Town Hall 10 with five more strategies for Town Hall 10 that will crush bases not even needing siege machines. Everyone in this video and the prior video, well, they're all siege-less Town Hall 10 attack strategies crushing Town Hall 10s. So if you want to use these machines, you suddenly make your attack just that much stronger. Coming in with the first one today, which is actually number six on the list, and that is the Queen Charge Lalo. Quite possibly one of the strongest attack strategies across all levels of Clash of Clans. Extremely dominant, getting your queen into the core of the base, cutting the base down, taking down the clan castle, and sending in your Lalo at the end. Look at it right here. The Queen is taking care of that CC. King started it out. Poison spells on the Clan Castle troops. Queen's raged up with those healers. And the minion is working, which is more important than you guys would think. So far, so good. I love the use of the rage spell or those wall breakers taking advantage of those rage spells. Queen should dive herself into the base. We want her to step on up and take out the enemy queen because, you know, it's a Lalo coming in on the back end. If you want to be extra careful, you could always bring some skeleton spells and then a rage spell to shut down the queen if you don't get her with your queen charge. But really, you want to get her with the queen charge. That's a, a pro tip right there, guys. Two air defenses, queen, and a clan castle already removed from the base. That is a beautiful success so far. Now it's Lalo time. Lava Hound in front, balloons behind. There's actually two Lava Hounds in this one, one from each corner. And the balloons are going to path on through with one heal. Two haste and one freeze left in the... Look at the queen aggroing everything. My goodness. Her abilities popped right there. Taking down the bow. Taking down ground defenses that can't really hurt the air attack anyway. But still, she was being attacked by like five defenses at once. Just tanking for those loons. Now, this is the best thing that I love about this. Or how the minions and pups clean up everything as they progress on through the base. Queen can keep on walking. Balloons are going through the heal spell. The infernal tower will do nothing to your balloons when they're within the heal. This is a gorgeous attack to start out today's video out of Harshal. Harshal. Getting it done. With, in my opinion, the strongest skill strategy. The strongest high skill strategy that Clash of Clans has to offer across all Town Hall levels. It's also really quite beautiful to watch the cleanup where the minions and pups come together, shut bases down because they are the cleanup, the organic cleanup coming from the gut of the Lava Hound. Though it's not really the gut, it's who knows where it actually comes from. But the Lava Hound spawns those pups, and it's just beautiful how they clean up the base. Off topic, wrong tangent, but there's the army. So you like that queen walk? You like that queen charge? Okay, you could do it with Lalo, but you could also do it with back end hog riders. And that's what's going to happen right here from Prith Virage. Man, I just can't keep up with these names. But I want to give a little bit of love to the attackers. They earned it from these beautiful attacks. It's why they're here in the video today. So, why the balloon? The balloon's there to take down any air traps or air mines that could beat up on your healers. You need to keep the healers going, right? Four or five healers in your attack depends on the strategy. You really wanna make sure that your queen is not losing the healers because then she's going to lose her life. Keep them alive, sacrifice one balloon for the healer and, uh, and allow your queen to walk on through the base. Now, Togs, right? So we don't have to worry about any air stuff. But notice this was a queen wa queen walk, actually. I don't see any charging yet. And a kill squad. So we had the golem, bowlers in the clan castle, and the king go into the base. And the queen, she's on the outside of the base picking things off. Now, the hog riders can come in from up north or from down here in the south and run themselves around the base. The question is, which direction will they come from? I'm worried about that, air that inferno tower oh baby there we go the queen's gonna dive on in right here and the healers will survive because the inferno tower is starting to beat down on them and i don't like that oh here we go oh air mine coco loon works so well can the queen reach it boom she can will the healers survive and they 
do. There is a little bit of life left in those healers, allowing for the queen to walk on, as I said. Now, look at the patience with these queen charges, guys. Now, I guess we can consider it a queen charge now. Not deep into the base, but she is inside of the base. You have to wait until the right time before you send in phase two, which in this attack was actually the kill squad. So for the here, it's phase three because we had a queen walk. Then we had a kill squad and then we have the hog riders, which we're a little bit light on hogs. You know, there's not a ton of them coming into the base right now. And I do notice a single target inferno. How is that going to affect the queen? There's no free spell, nothing to shut that down. There's a heal spell, which doesn't help against a single inferno. But at least it's going to get those hogs to max health again as they push on through. They do get it done. There's the rage. Those hogs are going to get angry. Angry hogs. One last pig coming in from the back on that mortar and shutting this down. So, queen charge hogs or queen charge Lalo. I'll ask you which one is your favorite, but also which one is the strongest. The place I want you to tell you, tell me along with in the comments is on my Discord server. My Discord server is OP. It's amazing and I'm in there to talk to you guys. So make sure you come on through. It's linked in the description of the video as well as the pinned comment. And also my Twitch is there because I stream every day on Twitch. So let's hang out. Come on through. Really nice hit. Pigs versus air. I actually put a video out. Hogs versus Lalo. Hmm. Did you watch that video? Let me know. And this one is odd. This one is strange, but it's a Lalo bat attack. A Sui Lalo bat attack. So this is going to be pretty darn exciting, guys. We have Look at this. The balloon's getting dropped in on the core because there was a gap in the base. That enabled the clan castle lore, which was crazy good. Now, th oh, there is a poison spell. Good. I was very concerned. I did not see the poison spell. So I did the, the quick glimpse at the uh, at the army comp. But here we go. King's going to tank for a little bit, but not for long. The clan castle lore was successful. King's ability has already been used. And now it's up to the queen. Is she going to... Oh, there's, still, there's still a witch. This witch can really be a witch. You know what I mean? And, okay, that, that poison, that clan castle lore was not as good as it should have been. It did not pull the entire CC. The enemy queen doesn't go down either. So how do you push through the rest of this base with a Lalo and bats? Well, you come in from the opposite side, right? The clan castle lore was successful. That's really all that got taken down. Only 9% of the base was taken down. So now it's time to get your lava hounds in front, balloons in the back, and you're going to bat wave the inferno tower. Let's see this, or bat bomb it, I should say, with a lot of bat spells as well. Bats are going to pop on through. No free spells. Oh, look at this. There's only one wizard tower left, and it's in the other side of the base. These bats could potentially go entirely through this base, although the queen did actually beat them up quite a bit. Wow. So what happened here was the attacker, who I cannot name because I cannot read it, they noticed that all the splash damage was on the opposite side of the base. It would be taken out by the Lalo, and then they could come in with those bats, and that worked out so well. Now the bats are going to beat up with the pups on the queen. Queen's down. Balloons took it down as well. Wow. Now, this was a custom attack built for this base, and this is why Clash of Clans is not just plug and play. You can't just cook this army and beat that base with the army. You sometimes need to customize, and that was done right here. And, well, it turned out to be a beautiful three-star. One different than all the others we've seen so far in this mini-series. It's the P.E.K.K.A. Smash, where you get the P.E.K.K.A.s, the bowlers going into the base with the queen, with the healers, and they smash it hence the name pekka smash right starting out with the queen walk these queen walk should eventually team up with those pekkas and then start diving themselves into the base let's see if all goes to plan here for sky a name i can pronounce so far so good the queen taking her time now we're having the king come in from down south this is cutting the funnel this is going to allow for the king to clear out everything down here the queen and those peck is to go straight ahead into the base there's one jump spell it's going to start all these guys out and then the hogs are coming through a little bit early i would say but you know what i think they're going to get what they need to get done lowering that clan castle queen stepping on up bowlers and peck are diving on it as well the king is still going with his rock and roll guitar it's a really cool skin i like it i like the attack movement how it spins i don't know whatever rage at those guys up and my god guys and girls because the peck is they are a female if you didn't know that it's actually a fact you learn facts here on this channel guys not just myths factual information 
And look at this P.E.K.K.A. still going along. Oh, oh, I thought they were going to drop a Rage right there, but they are out of spells. Queen is going to jump over and be able to be protected by the P.E.K.K.A. Oh, not really, because there's one cannon over there still. Man, these P.E.K.K.A.s live for quite a while under that heal spell. I love the use of the Queen's ability. It's going to retarget that cannon, allow for the Queen to take it down. Then the Queen can rejoin with those healers, save those healers, and join back up with that massive kill squad of P.E.K.K.A.s. Town Hall is about to go down right here to that king. And barbarians, of course. And, uh, well, the rest is just a, a walking game. So let's make it a jogging game and have them do it in two times speed. Because we know what's going to happen. Now, the queen did get a little bit more healer support. Healing her up just so she's ready to go for the next attack. Because Sky knew this was all planned out. Tire for tile, step for step. The queen would have almost full health at the end. All planned course now sky is back again with a completely different strategy and this one is very base specific this strategy can be hard especially if you're not an expert with a queen walk or a queen charge so right here notice the quad quake that's going to open up the base but there's only baby dragons to clean things up and some balloons so how does this work how is this going to actually get it done when there's no lava hounds although there may be one hound in the clan castle time will tell we will see Baby Dragon's here to help out that queen along the outside. Take a little fire off her as well. King set that funnel for the queen, so she's going to run. You notice that the king is primarily used to cut funnels for the queen these days. It's like, only the queen matters. I'm seeing three air defenses. Oh, what nice placement. Opening up three tiers of wall with that. That was just gorgeous. I'd love to see some... There we go. And it's happening right now. The baby dragons are cutting that funnel for the queen. So now she's going to dive into the base. She'll be able to step up in there, grab the clan castle, grab the queen, three bows, two air archer towers, and two air defenses along the outside as well. But it's going to take her a while to get there. There's two more rage spells because on this strategy, use all of your rages on your queen and on the healers or else, well, she's, she's not going to get through. You need a crazy queen walk. So here's another rage. And there's the poison spell on the dragon. We got to get that witch in there as well because those witches are awful for your queen. They will slow her down and take her down if you can't poison them out. Looks like that witch does finally go down. The queen can step up and continue her dive into the base. Man, that quad quake was just massive value. Now, baby dragon's going to come on from the outside. Should... Oh, no. I thought the queen was going to start targeting or that archer tower was going to start targeting the queen. But instead... It is on the baby dragon. Queen on queen. Another rage spell. The final rage spell. Balloons incoming. Air mines sucking them up. And then we have the baby dragons cleaning up behind. Will those balloons be able to make it to the air defense though? And take it down in time? They do. And the baby dragon is shutting down the town hall. This is pretty great stuff, guys. Notice the power of this charge though. Without a really solid queen charge, this would have never, it would have never worked. And there was one Lava Hound in the Clan Castle coming through to tank that final air defense for these few balloons that are left over in the composition. So, this is our fifth attack. Out of the five, which one is your favorite? Which one do you think you could dominate best with? Whether your troop levels, your skill level, whether you like air or ground, that's the five for today. Plus the ten from the last video, or the five from the last video, for a total of ten, because five plus five equals ten, kids. So, what's your favorite, guys? Let me know down below. Come through the Discord server and tell me there. And remember to use code ECHO whenever you buy gems, a season pass, or anything like that in any Supercell game. It really directly helps me stay live and full-time here on YouTube. So, thank you, guys, because without your support, I would probably be teaching again and not able to do full-time YouTube. So, thank you. I appreciate it. But we're out for today. Thank you so much for making your way through, and be sure to let me know what your favorites were from the video. Of course, if you ever have anything amazing, hit me up on my Discord. Maybe I can come through your clan. It's kind of what I do. It's fun. I love you guys. Check out these videos before you go. And be good.